Welcome to another AMA with Kadena Project Network. In this episode, we will be speaking with the team from Legends of Kadena. This conversation was recorded on December 8th, 2022, live on Twitter Spaces. The views and expressions in this AMA do not represent the views of KPN directly and are not to be considered as financial advice. Please make sure to do your own research on the projects presented. Also make sure to follow our account to be alerted of new uploads. Now let's get started. Enjoy. Welcome everybody to another AMA with Kadena Project Network. Today we are speaking with Legends of Kadena. They are a very cool NFT project that is looking to uh, shed a little light and a little love for the veterans out there, which is a very cool and very noble thing to do uh, because without those veterans, our lives would not be as free and as awesome as they are. So let's get right into this. I like to start just with a little basic introduction about yourself. Uh, I like to learn how you got into crypto as a whole and then just what Legends is about. So take it away. Well, thanks for having me, Chris. Uh, yeah, my name is Ryan Hestis. Uh, I'm an Army veteran, uh, paratrooper. I was uh, stationed in Alaska for about three years. And um, that was uh, from 09 to end of 2012. Um, how I got into crypto, uh, when I got out, I, I mean... Crypto really started when I, or after the recession, which was one of the reasons why I joined. So it's kind of funny and full circle, really, that now I'm back in crypto because uh, I joined the army instead of <laughs> buying Bitcoin back then. So, um, but yeah, uh, I guess over the past five years, I've been kind of like investing, um, like lightweight, really didn't. Um, make anything I, th I think i did invest a little bit in big uh bitcoin before it jumped up to 18k so uh that was that was cool to see um never really researched any of it i just kind of watched a few documentaries and um thought it was cool and um but didn't really understand it so about a year ago um well, after COVID, I was let go from my job. I um, got out of the army, went back to school, got a business degree, and then I was in uh, California, so I started working in ag. And um, after COVID, I was let go from that job, and then I was given the opportunity to go back to school, which I'm still doing and pursuing a programming software design uh, degree. So last year when I started that degree about in August – I started deep diving more into crypto and then found Kadena. <laughs> so it was kind of like perfect timing. Um, and yeah, since then I, I just uh, really just dived in fully and I, I haven't left. And that's why I'm kind of starting the legends on Kadena. Awesome. I love hearing people's backgrounds. A lot of people share a lot of the same background when it comes to crypto. And uh, just, you know, that's the, the best way to get involved is to just dive in, do your own research. Like you said, there's there's lots, so many great documentaries and videos out there now that can help people learn about crypto and learn about Bitcoin and things like that. And then it's just about finding a community that you like. So what exactly was it that drove you to Kadena? Was it the the tech? Was it the community? What really got you excited to and want to build on Kadena? Yeah, exactly. Uh, like I said, I, I started uh going back to school and learning more about tech i had spent about six years in ag business so um and and just sitting on my couch like investing a couple bucks here and there in like tezos or, or hey this uh this crypto sounds cool like let me uh let me throw some let me throw 20 bucks or or whatever and so you know diversify and and um i i didn't really get it and and when you when you're just sitting there on the couch or you're not really diving into anything, you're just like, you know, anything kind of sounds cool. If you're at the grocery store and, Oh, this removes this from, from all glass. It's like, Oh, that, you know, or those, you know, Billy Mays commercials. Um, uh, basically I started watching more YouTube videos. I started, uh, 
I hadn't been on Twitter as much. I, I, I originally started my a Twitter account back in like 2008 when it was like nothing. <laughs> and you would just tweet like, hey, go into the store like, or just something like that, right? So um, like I said, I, I just started getting more into Twitter, um, kind of following these major shillers. And then I stepped into the Lunar Crush and the Ryan Maddas and the I started finding um basically I found Kadena through like I think his name is Keeping It Real Finance. And I was like, oh okay, you know, this guy because basically I would talk to my real life buddies about crypto and what they thought. And um it's about two months after I started my degree and like really understanding like what path I was taking. That's why I started diving more into blockchain technology because I could, I kind of got an, I was just motivated to understand it. So found Kadena like right before the last bull run and um, saw the gains. And then I was like, and then I saw the tech, of course, and I didn't really have a community that like to jump into. I was just kind of scattered across Twitters and and YouTube videos. And then it wasn't until like the early OG, like NFT communities popped up. Then I started diving into like discords and talking to other people that were like-minded. And I was like, Oh, okay. Okay. That is, that makes sense. That doesn't make sense. Um, I was really defensive about Kadena on Twitter and social sites. <laughs> so, um, that was fun and a learning experience. And, um, yeah, um, rode Kadena all the way to the top and then kept DCAing on the way down. And I was just like kind of confused. So I started learning more about traditional markets and, and why they do the things that they do. And then um, kind of going back to when I got out of the army, I spent about six years trying to figure out, you know, why did I go to Afghanistan? I could have died here and what did it all mean kind of thing. So that kind of happened with me when Katana went up. I was like, what the, why did it come down? And why is it doing this? And I was really like <laughs> sad, obviously, but the NFT community really kind of helped me kind of stay in, stay in. And um, like, I, and I haven't left, obviously. I'm still here and, and, I chose to do the legends because um, I didn't see it in uh, Kadena. And I've met a few veterans, but um, early on I met one veteran. He was in the Navy. I don't know if he's in here. But, um, you know, I kind of just chopped it up with him on the daily basis. And I kept reaching out and networking across Twitter and in discords and um, – I just love the people here. So I noticed that difference between like with my real life friends, because they would be like, oh, what's happening to Katana? What's happening to Katana? And I was like, dude, I, I, I have no idea. Um, I just know it's awesome and I'm not, I'm not investing into anything else. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I saw that there was a need for the veteran community, first responder community, um, more recently, the last few months, I, I, I noticed, um, uh, other veteran communities on like Ethereum and Cardano. And I started jumping into to their spaces just because things on Kadena, I had already maxed out like what I was doing here. Um, just with the time that I have. And so I, um, yeah, and actually there's a, one of my buddies that I was in the army with his name's Andrew. He's down there. Um, I, I, I would call him weekly and just kind of chop it up about Kadena. He would give me his thoughts on Kadena and other projects and, you know, Hey, let's build over here on um, Polygon. And so it's, and I've argued back like, no, Kadena, Kadena, Kadena. Um, so yeah. Um, I didn't see or haven't seen, uh, the veteran community much on Kadena. Um, I think, with Kadena's technology and where we're at with Kadena, I, th I think more and more people will come to this space just like me and others. 
and I, I just want to have a space for that veteran community. So awesome. Awesome. There's uh there's so much opportunity in crypto to help people. And uh, of all the people I feel out there that uh, need the help the most is veterans. You see on the daily basis, how, um, you know, we're seeing all these things of helping all these other communities and helping people, but yet there's veterans, like especially in the United States, not so much up here in Canada where I am, but especially in the United States where it, it kind of seems like veterans get pushed to the side and, you know, and, and people need to understand, like, these are the people that are going out there and standing up for your rights and freedoms across the globe and are very integral and very important to the entire community as a whole. And uh, just because, you know, uh, just because these people have, you know, maybe fallen on hard times and so, or something like that doesn't mean that their contributions are any less important. So it's very cool to see someone wanting to take that step forward and show, uh, give the light on these people and show that they, you know, that they're, they're valuable people and they deserve to be recognized and they also deserve uh, to be helped when they can. So going on that kind of lines, uh, what do you have? I, I know you're still very early in the process. You're pretty much just, just getting started and just trying to set everything up. What are your general plans on wanting to help veterans? Are you planning on doing like, say, donations to a, uh, an organization that helps veterans? Uh, what do you see how crypto and how the Kadena community can help? Yeah, thanks for saying all that. I, I don't really like to, I don't know how to really, uh, I don't like to say, hey, I fought for your rights and, you know, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, I just was put in an opportunity and, and joining and serving my country was probably one of the best opportunities I got and following that into the ability to, uh, go back to school and then finding Kadena as well. Um, currently I I've noticed that, like you said, you know, there, there are veterans out there that are seeking this space. They don't really know about it yet. And I want to be like that hub for veterans that come. I don't mind. Um, I, everyone's welcome. I just don't see the veteran like space yet. So I would be, it was like one of those moments over the summer I had, I was like, damn, like if I don't do this and someone else does it, I, I'll, I'll support them of course. But like, can I do it? I started questioning that ability and I was like, yeah, you know what? Hell yeah, hell yeah, I can't do that. So, um, just being in this space and and in the NFT community mostly, um, I just learned so much about life. Really, um, there's a lot of great people in the Kadena space, and just to kind of complement the great tech with Kadena. So I feel like, like I said, like you said, and. I've mentioned to you, it's, it's like a pre beta phase. I, I do have like a, a 30 page Google doc of like everything that I'm thinking about. Um, I just haven't really decided how other than being the hub and the first space that veterans can come to if they're dealing with like uh, mental health. I've noticed that from uh, the other uh, blockchain like uh, ETH the veteran communities that are on ETH and, and Cardano like I mentioned there's a there's a big place for just people with mental health even if you're not a veteran like just having that camaraderie and that hey let's talk it out or you know because that's the thing I have like what I've noticed my real life friends my veteran friends and then I have my Kadana friends and, and and as I've been on, in this space and networking, um, they're all different, and they all we all kind of share a common like goal. And so I'm just hoping that I will be able to give back more than if it's mint funds or um, donating to certain causes that other veterans that come to the space are, are passionate about or ones that I don't have on that Google to Google doc yet. There are a couple ones like, um, um, 
a veteran commits suicide every 22 minutes, right? So it's like that's one that's a big one. It's called Turn 22. There's um, a lot of homeless veterans out there. Um, I, I recently moved from California to Idaho, and I've you know I was driving down to the store today, and I saw uh, a, he looked like a younger veteran, um, and I almost wanted to like reach out to him and talk to him, but I, I had to come to the space. So um, I don't know what's going to happen in the next six months. I, I think as long as I'm consistently staying in the in with Kadena and and all the people that I've met and I continue like I drive with the ideas that I have and um, kind of bounce those off with the people that I've met here and then talking to um, some of the other NFT project uh, veteran NFT projects. I think there's going to be a, a, a great space on Kadena for them. So yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. It's, it's, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I, I wasn't um, too sure how, <laughs> how to present this, but, um, I, I also feel like it's, it's hard to be in a, in the crypto space when you're not able to talk to a lot of people. So like in the beginning, I wasn't able to, it, it was hard to trust anybody. And then it's kind of confusing because you, you're just talking to a screen or you're just typing to a screen. And, um, it's just, it was just kind of hard in the beginning. So I'm hoping that the space continues to evolve and gets better and people are more open to being, you know, show face. I've, no, I've noticed that in, in the veteran community, it's like, we don't care, you know? And, and, it, and if you, and if you do care, then that's okay. Like I, you want to remain anonymous, that's fine too. Um, so how, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I feel like you have, you seem to have the want and the drive and you have lots of great ideas. Like you said, you have this huge document, which pretty much sounds like you've written a white, a white paper in a sense, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. That's what it is. You know, that's kind of what it is. It's a breakdown of what you want to do, the things you want to do and how you're going to accomplish them. And that's, that's all a white paper really is. Right. It's right. pretty much like a business plan for like, if you're, if you ever want to start, if you want to start your own business, you have to have a, a business plan that details what you want to do, how you're going to do it, and then how you're going to run it afterwards. And it sounds like you pretty much have that in mind. Now, is it just you right now that's working on Legends, or do you have other people helping you as well? Because I see a lot of people in the space listening right now that have a lot yeah. of experience when, with <laughs> NFTs and probably would be willing to help you out if need be. So what are your thoughts on that? Are you, are you, have you reached out to anybody, or has anyone reached out to you saying, hey, I love your idea, how can I help? Yeah, like, um, yeah, Chris, just so you, I mean, all, uh, most of the people that you see in this space right now are, are people that I talk to on the reg. Um, and they've, they've been fully supportive. Um, I, I can't say enough about the people that are in this space. And, and really, since I've been talking, they've been the kind of ones that have held me here. Because usually, but normally before when crypto would die, I would just leave. I didn't, I didn't have a rhyme or reason to stay. Um, so most of the people that you see here, I, I do talk to daily. And um, that's the thing is I, I've been in this space long enough for about a year now since, and you remember how it was a year ago, right? We were just coming down off that bull and, <laughs> and nobody thought, I mean, we thought we were going to go back to a hundred K. So it's, uh, it's been interesting and the real ones are here. And I, and I know who to talk to. And I, and I do, like I said, talk to them on the, on the daily. So um, I, 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 um, like I, I, I'm the community manager at Arcade. So I've been able to kind of, they, they brought me in and, and kind of have helped me see it from a, a, a macro vision. Um, I know how it is when it just like wind mint and, and all this stuff, but like, I don't. I haven't really um, made a a Discord, and I, I, at the moment, like I said, I just have that Google Doc of of the ideas. I know who to who my resources are to reach out to, and um, I just think anything's possible here. You just have to have a, a macro vision 
stay positive, um, keep networking. And, and if you need a call out, just call out to people in the community. And that's what I love about Kadena. Yeah, for sure. One of Kadena's strongest points, uh, even during like we've like you said, a year ago, uh, even a year ago in Kadena, this NFT yeah. space didn't ex- didn't exist. Like no. there wasn't you, there's like maybe one or two. Like, I don't know if I don't know how long Kitty Cad's been around. I think they've been around for almost a year. Yeah, I want I to say. Okay. Yeah, they just yeah I think. Yeah, they just had their one year. <laughs> yeah. So like. You know, it, it, you're, we're all so early in this space, but we've had lots of great players that have been stepping up to the table, like Arcade, for example. Uh, we got Kadena Skelly's here in the chat. We got Wolfies yeah. who are coming out soon. We got lots of great people who are doing some really great things. So it's it's just a matter of um, of just working in the background. And like I've been telling people, I've been telling the past couple of projects I've talked to, don't rush. You're in yeah. no rush. You know, like even if even if um, the bear market uh, the bear market stops and all of a sudden we get a big bull run, you're still in no rush. Kadena is right. so early in this space, yeah, especially yeah. the NFT, especially the NFTs in Kadena are so early. So, you know, don't don't push it out. Build your community first. Build your vision and your product first, and then you know show the community, hey, this is what I've been working on while everyone else has been crapping on Kadena and, and leaving mm-hmm. because, you know, oh, I, you know, I'm not making any money here. And it's like, <laughs> I, I've, I've come to learn that the major a lot of people in crypto, and I want to almost say the majority of people, especially new people, seem to think that they're going to get rich overnight. Right. And it's, it, it, it's sad. People like when I first got into crypto, this was just before the 2018 bull run. So late 2017, I got into crypto and um, I automatically I was like, minimum, this is going to be a five year investment, right. like minimum. Well, I'm at my five years now. <laughs> and uh, right. haven't seen haven't seen that crazy bull run like that last one back in 17 18 where you know bitcoin went from a couple thousand up to 20,000 like that's a huge jump and it right. pulled all of the altcoins along with it and people just need to relax and sit back and realize that you know unless you want to go and chase these pump and dump groups and you know take your chances sure. with with those kind of things it's better to find these solid gems like Kadena that are just in the background, slowly chopping away and slowly building. Cause that's really what it's all about. Some of the best projects uh, that have been around the longest are the ones that aren't, you know, pushing hype and pushing things like that. Like uh, for good examples of that, Litecoin, Litecoin's a great example right. of that. They, yeah. they're not flashy. They don't go out there and they're not like paying for all this advertisement and blah, blah, blah. But they have such a solid community behind them pushing the project that uh, Kadena is slowly building that. And the more people that we get involved and the more people that we get on board just you know, seeing what the tech is, but then also getting involved with the community because the community is what's going to take us into that next run and to and beyond. So, right. and the community is such a beautiful thing in Kadena. There, of course, we're going to have our bad actors. We're going to have those people that come in, make you know crap tokens or whatever, and then sure. a month later they're they're gone. Their accounts are scrubbed. Blah blah blah. But. You, that's that's normal on every single protocol. Every single yeah. network, every single community has that, and it's about finding the true people, the true believers, like that you've seemed to be surrounding yourself with right now, that are going to really help you push your project forward and push it into the future. Exactly. Um, I, I'd like to just give you a shout out, Chris, because I've listened to a lot of these uh, spaces that you've held. And every time I would listen and you would talk to all the other ones and I was, you know, just kind of working on my doc. I'm like, yeah, you know what? He's right. Like you're going to do it, Ryan. Like just, just keep building. I'm not planning on going anywhere. And I'm, I'm just fortunate enough that I found Kadena when I really dived in. And so, like I said, I, I, um, I've, I've surrounded myself with some great people in the community and yeah, there's going to be, you know, all this kind of craziness that's happened this year from 
Luna to uh, Celsius, now FTX, and um, just kind of like going back to when I got out of the army and spent about six years trying to figure out, uh, you know, life and and the world. Uh, I, I still haven't figured it out, but I just by spending that time, um, I've I I kind of now have focused my energy into into this and to kind of instead of being all riled up about politics and, and all that crap, like I, I, I want to be around people that are excited, that are, are making a difference. And, and that's, what's the difference between like, when I say like, Oh yeah, I have my Twitter friends and my army friends and my real life friends. Cause like, I'll talk to my Kadena friends way more than um, <clears throat> my real life friends. And it's just kind of funny to me that, I, I do spend so much time in this space, but it's because I love this space and I'm going to school for programming and software design. And this is kind of like where I've made my path and I just want to be a part of it. So thank you uh, for always having these spaces and your kind words. Well, thank you very much. I, I, uh, I know what it's like to be a community manager as I'm the one for Eucalyptus Labs running the <laughs> KPN here, uh, running our now now our Koala Wallet uh, community, oh, yeah. running that as well. Uh, so definitely being um, being out there and just being vocal and just, you know, saying hello to people, talking with them. Uh, you never know, like I started off working with uh, a, a, one of a, a major wallet back in the day as support. And, mm -hmm. you know, you, you get, you get talking to these people, like my coworkers and stuff, and we'd never actually met. We, we don't really know each other. Like, you know, we become kind of sure. like your Kadena friends, you know, you, yeah, you talk yeah. to them online, but you don't really know them, but <laughs> they become almost more closer friends than the people you actually know, because you're just talking to them all the time and you, you share so many things in common with them even if it's just right down to we both like Kadena, you know, like right. something as simple like that can bring so many people together. And we're seeing now, like doing the research, um, I was doing some research on all the different NFT projects. And uh, I found that there's at least a minimum about 300 solid core people in Kadena that are just behind every project, like not behind them doing them, but right. like promoting them, supporting them. And that for, for a small community that we have, uh, 300 solid people is absolutely amazing. And nice. considering like we were, um, for example, me and our team went down to uh, Decentral Miami to try to talk a little bit with the Cadena team and meet up with them. Nice. And yeah. um, we found a lot of people there didn't really know about Kadena, which was kind of surprising to us. And but it also shows how early, how early in the game we really are. And right. some of these people, once once we started explaining to them what Kadena was, what Pact was, what Marmalade was about, and how they differ from say Polygon or Soul or even Ethereum, they were like, oh wow, I really got to look into that. So yeah. it's obvious that you know we have something here that's special. And we have a community that's very special, lots of great people in the community. And it's just it's just a matter of taking our time, building something special. And when the time comes, people are just going to be blown away by yeah. not just the Kadena tech, but by, behind the, the, the solid community of people who have been plugging away for over a year now together, building something very special. And over the next year, even over the next couple months, I'd say to a year, I think we're going to see exponential growth. We're going to go from having like right now where we have about a hundred and ten or hundred and twelve projects listed on our KPN site. Right. I see that in a I see that in a year from now being over three hundred, possibly up to five hundred. We're just going to see this huge explosion of people because people are going to a decide oh you know. Uh, right now I'm working with soul and it goes down every freaking week. You know, I'm getting really sick yeah. of this. Let's, let's right. find something that's more sustainable or they're going to be working with another chain. That's like, Oh, I don't like the centralization of proof of work, <clears throat> Ethereum. Right. And yeah. uh, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be looking for yeah. new homes and Kadena is a great place for those people to come and a great place for them to 
uh, to either move their community or even just build another one. It's it's such a great space. It's it's amazing to see just to think of where this can go, and the fact that you're trying to bring a whole another another field of community with veterans in uh, is very important. Now you did mention that uh, you don't have a Discord yet, but are you planning to build one? Because I see that a Discord for this could be very helpful because you could have uh, chat rooms where veterans can come and talk with you with each each other even over video chats you could have uh, links to different help uh, organizations things like that there's so much that you could do to build a community to help veterans uh, in specifically so and uh, what are your thoughts on building a, a cool discord and is that in the plan um i'll use the famous soon <laughs> uh just because uh i am i am limited on time uh, I, I just moved to Idaho from California with my family and um, I go to school. Uh, it's all through online and then I'm, a, I'm in Kadena. So yeah, the discord's coming. I, I totally agree with you that, that that's going to be a, a great space just because of my experience with it. And um, kind of what I've seen in the other veteran uh discords that i've kind of joined like i i mentioned a few months ago i, I started venturing out and, and just kind of looking at blockchain as a whole and like trying to adopt that macro vision and it's just like from like what you were talking about right like oh you have your cadena friends and and all that stuff i mean i could sit here and talk to you probably about cadena for a very long time and then um just like that with veterans um once you start talking about your service and what you're into with life and, and just everything like that. It, it clicks so well, just like you, like we were to talk about what we're doing right now, right. With Kadena. So, or, or like for instance, with, with arcade, with gaming and um, yeah, the discord's coming. Everything's coming. Um, still in like the early phases. I, I don't really have a lot of time. <laughs> I get distracted, but that's okay. And um, the the thing is just to be consistent and kind of keep going. You know, just one foot in front of the other. Keep your head down and and just and build. So that's kind of like my outlook on it. And I know I think we're gonna be here in, in this lull for a little bit longer. I don't know how long, but it's okay with me. You know, and um, I'll be able to. If I'll be able to to have that space for veterans um, soon, we'll say. Awesome, yeah. Just you know, keep your head down, keep plugging away. Uh, yeah, just you know, just keep working. That's all it really comes down to. And uh, if once you know, as soon as you open those gates, the people will come flooding in. I'm sure because you're doing something that a is is different and is also an excellent cause. It's something that um, really. It, crypto can really benefit and uh, both ways it can you can benefit you can help build Kadena and help get the word out there but also bring some good to a lot of really good people that uh, could probably use you know something good in their lives and something just kind of to bring up their spirits and show them that you know there's still communities out there that give a shit that still care yeah. that want you know that they're not you know the their their contributions to life um I'll say this. I, I, for one, have never considered military service to myself. But at the same time, I have family members who have and are in the military. And I have the utmost respect for all of them and what they do. I would never, oh, yeah. ever, I could never put myself in their shoes and do what they do. So for anyone to talk down to anyone who does, who decides to, to do that and take that leap and do it to help, um, you know, promote their country and help do things for, to help better man, really, of all places, then, you know, I, I applaud them. And for anyone that wants to help help those people out because it kind of seems like, like I said, that the, the government kind of, uh, I don't know in a, in a better way of saying it, but kind of, you know, brings them in and spits them back out, uses them for their <laughs> purpose and then just kind of spits them back out into society. And it's like, right. that's not fair. That's not fair to these people. They no. deserve better. They deserve 
they deserve our utmost respect and everything that we can do to help them. So I, I applaud you for just, you know, taking, just putting the effort in, you know, just putting in the effort to, to try to even build something, even, even if it doesn't succeed, you know, even if it doesn't succeed, it doesn't matter. The fact that you're, you're showing your appreciation and showing that you care might, like you said, might, um, drive more people to get involved and who knows, maybe it will become something absolutely huge. Maybe, you know, it'll be the next great thing to, to be able to help people. Right. So yeah, it's just, that, just a that matter one, of, one, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> uh, that's kind of, that's kind of the funny thing, right? Like, so when I did venture out and I, I, I ended up in an ETH um, veteran community and I, you know, <laughs> I tried to, that was one of the things I tried to get into ETH, but I, I couldn't participate with, uh, with ETH, with gas, with anything like that. Um, I understand that like, you know, it's the second best right now and that's where a lot of projects build and good for them. Um, we'll see what happens in five to 10 years. Right. But what I noticed was the, the community, the NF2 community for the veterans was very strong. And I hopped in there and I, was, I felt like I was at home. I was like, oh, you know, I don't care that this is on ETH. I, di I didn't mint any. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, uh, but, you know, if I had the funds, I would have just to participate with them. Um, but I don't have to buy the NFT to participate at, or, or spill that, like, you know, camaraderie there. What I did notice, though, and after I talked to some of them, was they were they had a a mining pool which they were going to be mining Litecoin, like all uh, some other different coins. But actually, they were they were buying K threes to mine Kadena to give back to their community. So, and I was like, "You got to be," you know. I was like, pretty blown away, and I was like, "Oh, okay." So there, there's you know potential partnership and and. That's just the cool thing about crypto is like, yeah, we might all be in these different spaces, um, but the idea of just being here and doing it and having that place for the next man or woman or like for you, like your family is in it. Um, I've met a couple people in the space of Kadena where one particular, like his dad was in Vietnam and that, that kind of like, made my heart sink. So I was like, dude, like love this guy. Um, and, and hell yeah, you know, and he's been a, a great kind of mentor and someone I can talk to in this space. And that's all I really want. Because if I talk to my friend about Kadena, he's just going to be like, Oh, how's your Kadena dogs doing? And I'm like, yeah, all right. You're laughing, but I'm here and that's okay. It's all good. You know, because in the end it's, it's what we do with our time and, and what we're going to leave, you know, for others. So that's why I'm doing it. It's what crypto is really about is bringing is taking con a taking control of your life and hopefully making um, huge, huge profits in the in the future but like yeah <laughs> sure. I, I get the same thing i get the same thing of people like oh you know uh, how's your bitcoin doing ha 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 ha, ha. And it's like it's like yeah you'll be laughing when you know i turn my 500 bucks into fifty thousand. then we'll see yeah. who's laughing right you know? exactly man it's it's <laughs> I, I one of my buddies you know he's he's pretty well off in life and he just he always said something to me he's like hey there's a piece of pie for everyone you know what i mean just hit your singles Hit your doubles, and, and eventually you'll start hitting home runs. The, the key is to just continue and persevere and, and just be consistent. So, yeah, I mean, crypto is not for everyone. Blockchain's not for everyone. I, I work for a retail company. It's uh, one of the major tech companies of the world. And they're, they're lost on passwords, and they use these technologies every day. So <laughs> it's been... It's been kind of an eye opener the last few months working at that retail store and just hearing and, and talking to them about like, cause there's some people in there that I'll be like, Hey, what do you think of, you know, Bitcoin or, Oh, you've been a broker for 30 years. What do you think about Bitcoin? I don't, I don't touch it. I don't understand it. And I'm like, well, okay, this guy's old and he's in traditional markets and he's a broker and he's going to, 
he's just going to ride that out. He seems like in a happy mood. I'm not even, I just wanted to see what he thought about it. Right. But then I would tie back in like, well, Hey, what do you think about like Elliot Wade Fibonacci? Like reading, you know, the graphs and stuff. And he's like, Oh, well, then he had a different outlook. And I was like, okay, well, going back to the beginning of the year, that's kind of like where I kind of went back in the trenches for YouTube. And I'm like, all right, let's find someone where I can like follow and learn from. And that's kind of what this space is all about. Like you were saying, it's just, it's just about learning, educating, showing up. Even if you go away, you can come back and, and, and hop right in. It's just a matter of this is our space. And if we want to share it, with, we're going to share it with everyone, but not everyone's going to get it, right? Just about, about anything, really. It's like Wayne Gretzky said, you, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if you're, not, if you're not willing to jump in and give it a shot, then you never know what you're missing out on, really. There's, I think, you know, as, as we get farther and farther into crypto and it gets – more widespread adoption uh people will really start to catch on but the sad thing for them will be it'll be too late um it's, you know it's the, <laughs> yeah. the, they're just chasing that fomo right so it, it's right. kind of it's kind of a hard thing we see it we see it with everything it's like you always see that 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 little cartoon of like the two uh the two takeout windows or the two like uh store windows and one will say like Bitcoin a hundred thousand and have just hundreds of people lined up at it. Yeah. And then the Bitcoin ten Bitcoin for ten thousand window with the guy sitting there with nobody there. And it's like Isn't that it should crazy? be the opposite? Right? It's, it's Isn't crazy that gnarly? when you think about it, it. You're like, oh and you get that, but uh some people don't. It's funny. Yeah. And then they buy in and then next thing you know, a month later it crashes back down and they're blaming you. <laughs> and it's like right. No, no, I've been I've been telling you. I told you way back in the day when it was like ten grand to buy, and you said no, <laughs> that it's yeah. a scam and blah blah blah. Now that it's at a hundred thousand, you're knocking at my door of how do I buy this stuff? No, screw you, go away. You know, you missed yep. your chance. You figure it out on your own. You figure it. <laughs> yeah, you know that was the funny thing is, like I said before, before when I first got into crypto and all that stuff, I was always asking my friends like, "Hey, what do you think? Hey, what do you think?" Cause they had more money to participate and I thought, Oh, you know, you know, since they have more money, they might be more knowledgeable, but that, that didn't seem to be the reality of things. Once, um, once I found Kadena, um, and it went, you know, haywire, like it did, it was the funny thing. Cause I would, I would then talk to them about it afterwards and they were like, Oh, you know, what's your Kadena bag at now? What's it at now? And I'm like, you know, just don't worry about it. <laughs> like, don't wor don't worry about it. I told you, um, you know, two months ago you know, or whatever. I, that was one of the things too, is before when I found Kadena and I was like, do I tell, do I tell, who do I tell? Like, cause I'm, I'm like excited and I had nobody to share that with. Um, and I just was like, you know what? I'm going to tell everybody, like, I'm going to tell everybody that has an opportunity to hear and just like my buddy Andrew in the in the crowd that I was that I went to basic training with, airborne school with, went to uh, Alaska with, been in the trenches with, um, jumped out of air, you know, all that stuff. Went to war with this guy. I I was like, hey, dude, check out Kadena. Like, just do me a favor, do yourself a favor. And um, yeah, you know, I just that's kind of like my outlook on life is just like tell everybody, be happy. And and I didn't want to like keep Kadena to myself, even with my closest friends, even if they were gonna be like, well, I, you know, or talk shit before, because that's kind of what I thought and felt. It was only afterwards, you know, they're like, oh, oh, why is Kadena falling? And I'm like, well, why is Bitcoin falling? <laughs> oh, okay, let's let's look at the the major factors here. And so, yeah, we are where we are now. Yeah, it, it, it's really surprising to see people's reactions to crypto in general yeah. and then Kadena as a whole even. It's just even there's I, I feel there's still people even in the Kadena community that still don't quite get where we're going and what the long term goal goals really are for Kadena. You know, you yeah. get you just those people that just wanna, you know, where's my money now? Where's my hundred times now? I want it now. And it's like, yeah, well you can't have it now. You're just gonna have to wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. 
and make sure you take some profits because exactly <laughs> yeah well, I for one am very excited about what you're working on. I think that, like you said, it's a, I think it's a very uh, not just noble thing, but also something that um, a lot of people will probably be able to get behind. And I, I encourage you to do more of these kind of spaces, get out there more, try to talk more about it, because I find that uh, the more you're you're very good at presenting. Uh, what you want to do and I'm sure the more you get out there and the more you talk about legends the more people are going to want to reach out to you and say hey man I want to help you're doing something cool you're doing something yeah. special let's 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 get the ball going and let's do this um, I know here at KPN we'll, we are more than well you're more than welcome anytime we will help you oh, spread the word stuff like that definitely just you know Keep your head down. Keep pushing away. There's lots of people out there that will are that are very helpful and willing to help, and uh, I'm sure you'll definitely find your way. I appreciate that, and uh, thank you. Of course. Uh, if anyone listening has any questions that they feel like they'd like to ask or say, uh, feel free to send in a, a request to speak, and we'll get you up here. But. Uh, I absolutely love talking to you today. I thought, you know, even though you're still very early stages, like you said, you're pretty much just all yourself, kind of just a document. You've been just putting your ideas down to, you got like just basic ideas, but the things that you've been talking about and the ideas that you have are solid. And they're definitely things that uh, I can see that you're going to be able to grow a really good community out of, and you're going to be able to do a lot of good for a lot of people. So uh, hopefully, like I said, People will get a hold of you and reach out and want to help you because you definitely deserve people behind you and growing this. Yeah, I agree. Um, that's kind of like why I took, <laughs> I kind of took this. I was kind of debating last night and I was sharing with some of the guys in the, in the crowd, like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but um, I felt a lot better talking to you about it and just kind of getting it out. I've been wanting to do these spaces, but like I said, I, I moved my work schedule is what it is and I got kids and it's just, uh, I thought I'd be able to build like a, a, a room in my garage. That way I could like, you know, station up and, and, you know, get into it, but it's freezing now in there. And over the summer it was too hot. So <laughs> I don't really have a room. Um, but yeah, um, definitely now that I got this out there, um, kind of just, it, it, it's kind of like weird, right? Cause it's, how do you do this and how do I do it on my own? And I, and I know that I'm not on my own, but it's just like being vulnerable and then be, staying committed. And, and I've been here since, and I haven't left since I got here. So, you know, I'll take your advice and, and kind of have more spaces and just kind of um, that way, you know, I can, I appreciate you having me on here. That way I could, Hey, um, let veterans know like, Hey, there's a space it's coming and um or or people that support us or they have family members right so awesome well anyone that's listening and wants to help out with legends make sure you get a hold of them contact them help them build this community because this is something this is a one of those projects that stand out in the rough and can actually do a lot of good for a lot of people and not just the Kadena community but in the world as a whole so make sure you guys go follow them on twitter check them out send them a dm say you know if you got any way that you can help would be greatly appreciated and uh, like i said don't be a stranger to us make sure you keep us in in uh, in the loop and if you get if you need anything that we can do to help just feel free to shoot a message thanks chris i appreciate that Awesome. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming out today and listening to this. And like I said, follow Legends, keep up to date, and uh, make sure that if you can help them out, shoot them a message and offer them them help, and we'll build an awesome community. So thank you again for joining us there, Legends. And definitely, like I said, keep in touch. Absolutely. Take care, both. Awesome. All right. Thanks, All right. everyone. Have a good one. Bye. That wraps up another amazing AMA. Thank you for listening. Here at KPN, we strive to bring an open platform for projects being built on Kadena to present themselves to the community. Please ensure to do your own research on each project before investing. Also ensure to follow us on all our social media from Twitter to subscribing to our weekly newsletter to ensure to keep up to date on everything KDA related. 
You can find all the links in the description below. Take care.